Hello guys, welcome to another testlink tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we will learn about defining the custom fields in testlink and how you can assign those custom fields to the appropriate sections that you have defined those custom fields for. So for example, you want a custom field or a new field to be available in the test case creation section, then you can define that customized field and assign that to the test case creation section or template. Similarly, you can do for the requirement and other aspects in the test link. So defining a custom field is pretty straightforward. You need to have administrative privileges in test link to define and assign the custom field. So if you go to the define custom fields section at the top, here you have option to create uh, the custom field manually, uh, import the custom field, uh, from the other instance and then export the custom fields as well. So if you want to create just click on create the custom field and provide the name so you can say just uh, custom story ID and uh, I'll say custom story ID and where uh, does it uh, where is it available? You need to select that so story ID I'll say uh, should be available in the requirement uh, section and you can select the type uh, whether it's string numeric float etc okay so i'll say it's a numeric field and you, then at the bottom you have a couple of options you can add you can add an, and assign at the same time to current test project and then you can cancel if you just click on add you have to go back and manually assign this custom field uh, on the requirement section but if you say add an, an assign to current test project then it will add this custom field and also assign it automatically to the current test project right so for this one i'll just say um, add and assign to current test project so that this assignment automatically happens for this story id for this custom field now i'll create another one which will see how you can um, add and then uh, assign it manually so the custom test estimates and i'll say this is available for the test case uh, the type is uh, again numeric uh, because I want uh, this field to hold number of days uh, as an estimate and then where does where is it enabled for so enable on test specification design and whether you want to be this to be displayed in the test execution if you select yes this field will be displayed on the test execution section as well uh, I'll just add it and you can see that the other field has been added and it will be displayed on the test execution as well and it's available for the test case section now going back uh, for the assignment section so one of the field was already assigned uh, automatically because i selected uh, the button to assign it automatically now if you go to the requirement specification and let's see if that assignment has happened successfully so click on the requirement section and click on requirement operations create and check whether the custom story id is available so yes custom story id field is available for the requirement section in the test link now going back to the other section which was the test case section uh, test case uh, a custom field we haven't assigned so if you go into the test uh, suite operations and I'll just go back and click again check out and click on test case operation click on the plus sign to create the test case and see whether the custom field is available on this screen there is no custom field available because we haven't we have defined the custom field for the test case but we haven't assigned the test um, the custom field so what we'll do we'll go back and assign that custom field uh, to the test case section so you just go to the test project management below that assigned custom field and you can see here that the custom field is available test estimates but that hasn't been assigned so you just select that and click on assign now that custom field is available uh, and uh, assigned uh, the other things that are available when you assign this is the required field and monitorable field so if you select required and monitorable field then uh, this field will always be required when new test case is being created so update uh, the fields 
and go back and we'll go to the test specification section again and try to create the new test case and see whether that particular field is available so click on the test case operations and now the custom test estimates fields uh, field should be available right and if you try to put any uh, thing other than i'll fill some details uh, there and i haven't put the numeric uh, estimates there so it should throw an error so custom field test estimates accepts only numeric values so it shows the warning so you have to provide the numeric values because when we are defining this custom field we have mentioned that this field should accept only numeric fields so if you have to uh, if you change it to numeric it will allow you to save this particular test case right so that test case has been saved and custom test estimates holds that particular value right so that's uh, about the adding and assigning the custom field now if you want to delete the custom field what you need to do so you, you just go to the um, uh, assign custom field uh, open the custom field right and here you can delete the custom field or you can update the custom field as well right so that's pretty much all about um, defining the custom field in testlink and then uh, how you can assign the custom field while you are defining automatically to the sections that you want and if you haven't assigned it automatically um, then how you can go back and manually uh, assign the the custom field to the fields that you want or to the sections that you want it to be there and also uh, once you uh, are no longer require the custom field for that particular section then how you can delete the custom field from test link so hope you like this video uh, please do share and subscribe for more tutorials like this thank you for watching